we'll work with the data set later guys these are some kind of a mushrooms data set so we know that some mushrooms are uh, eat some we can edible some of them you can consume you can eat them but some mushrooms are not edible actually guys so generally uh, the mushrooms which are grown at normally at the uh, uh, these are going to be at the uh, the farm fields will be there so there are going to um, there are going to grow it artificially so they are going to be what they are calling they we can edible them actually but which are going to be grown in forest and etc they are not audible they are not edible actually guys yeah we okay some of the data set gunraju some of the data sets we are going to share them actually guys some of the data set whatever the data sets i'll use you will you will get you know, i'm going to share you the data sets apart from that if you want to work with your own data sets actually that means so many data sets guys hundreds and hundreds of data sets are there so if you want to work with the data sets i'm going to tell you some some online resources actually guys publicly available data sets so one of the most popularly we are going to be using is going to be some kind of an uca repository actually guys so this is going to be one of the the most popularly the online resource where we are going to be using the data sets actually guys so welcome to the uc irwin machine learning repository actually these are all our data sets actually guys so we are going to be getting all these data sets actually so if you see some terminologies actually guys what type of task you want to do a classification regression clustering some kind of an applications actually guys so what are the different areas are there so where you can use it guys don't think that it is only as part of computer science engineering you can get a lot of data sets actually absolutely we are also going to be using kaggle i'm going to add to show all of them actually guys we are going to be using the kaggle so kaggle is going to be one line, one of the online resources we are going to be getting the data sets almost all whatever the uci repository data sets are there almost all the same data sets are also going to be available here guys these are the some of the popular data sets actually okay so there are some data sets actually guys apart from these data sets we are going to be having and another one what we are going to call it as gapminder so gapminder is also one of the that means yeah it also gives you a lot of data it is also going to be gives you so there are different different areas are there related to population related to some communication education medical okay uh, economy some salaries pop there are so many areas are there actually guys there are so many indicators are there we can get it actually you can see the indicators actually guys so many so many areas we are going to be having it actually can you see population related is there societies are there work is there some other data sets are there energy education so all these are going to be some of the popular data sets actually guys what is going to be the literacy rate actually guys so literacy rate adult the adult females adult males adult totals so literacy rate of the adults actually so what is a youth youth female youth males are there so these are the data sets actually guys literacy rate across percentage of females age more than 15 actually guys and these are not any dummy data sets actually guys they are the real data sets actually they are the real data sets across the countries over the time period across the countries over the time period starting from 1975 we can see the data starting from 1975 we have the data actually and up to where we have been having the data actually guys so up to 2011 we have the data actually so different different countries different different countries data are there simply if you just click on the csv file see most of the people also contributes in the in the help of csv and the xlx file only just if i click on the csv file the file will be downloaded into your system actually these are free actually guys public data sets are always free okay not only that even we are having data.gove gov so it is also going to be one of the the data sets what we are going to be getting actually guys from here also we can get a lot of data sets we can get it actually there are also pur purposes for basically for the analytics purpose only we are going to be using this actually guys so many data sets are going to be gets available here now we can work with the data sets actually so most we would data sets are going to be there recently added data sets are going to be there so we can see what are going to be the data sets what we are going to be using this actually guys isn't it so there are so many resources are there where we can get the public data sets actually guys where we can get the public data sets actually these are all what we call it as 
a public data sets, what we are going to call it as. These are free. Not only this, even there are so many resources are there actually, guys. So many resources are there. It's not one or two actually, guys. We are going to be having, there are going to be a lot of, there is going to be a lot of, um, um, uh, the, the lot of communities are there, which is going to be providing you all that particular data sets actually, guys. So for example, if you see that TensorFlow community is there, a TensorFlow is going to provide you a lot of data sets are going to be given to you guys. A lot of data sets are going to be there actually. So many data sets are going to be there actually. You can work with the data sets. So if you want images, see guys, how many areas are there? So if you want to get the images, images related data sets are going to be there. How many these are there? See, all lot of data is going to be there actually guys. Mostly it is going to be that particular images, image classifications, audios, text data. If you want to work with the audios actually, guys, you will be having the audio related data actually. These are all the audio related data. So these are going to be some kind of a data actually. Text data are there. If you want to work with the text data, we can work with the text data actually. All these are related to text data, images. If you want to work with the images actually. So we are going to be having the image, image classification data sets are there. So these are all the data sets actually. Yes. So many data sets are going to be there actually. When you go there, we are going to work with these particular data sets. Okay. So there are so many ways are there, which are contributed by somebody and which are going to be shared by somebody and which is going to be in Google provides a lot of data sets actually. And online data sets are provided. All these are at free of cost. We can get them. There are some paid will be there if you want to do something different because these are public data sets. Everybody knows about them. If you want to use such kind of a private data sets also, that is also available. But we have to spend some bugs off for that actually. Okay, fine guys. So that is going to be the basic idea about this particular data sets actually. So there are so many resources are there guys. There are so many resources are there. Sometimes we will generate our own data. That means we are not a research people. We are not a business people to generate the data. So for that, what I'm going to do is I'm, I'm going to extract the data from the tweeters. So tweets I can collect actually guys based on my subject actually. So I want to do some analysis on a particular subject. So what are going to be the tweets? Like for example, some movie has been got released. So how the, how the action, that means how the people reaction was there on the movie or some incident has been happened actually. So something like in some Karnataka around right now, currently some uh, something related to the uniform, the school uniform. So there is going to be something, some incident is going to be happening in uh, uh, in Karnataka actually. So how the people has been reacting on that particular Twitter, we'll take the social media. We will collect our own data actually, guys. That means tweets are there. We are going to collect that particular data actually, guys. So from Twitter, we are going to get that particular tweets actually. But how do you get it manually? I don't sit on the system and I don't do any copy and paste it actually, guys. Directly, we can just get that particular data directly. Directly into a system, we are going to get it actually. Even I didn't discuss about them. That is a technique what we are going to call it as an, a web scrapping technique. We do it actually, guys. I didn't highlight this topic actually, guys. Web scrapping. So web scrapping is also one of the a very popular technique nowadays what we are using actually, guys extracting the data from the websites, like it may be social media, e-commerce sites. So from e-commerce sites, actually, guys, mostly we do it from e-commerce sites, actually. And apart from that, it is going to be from the social medias. Mostly social medias and e-commerce sites we are going to be using, actually, guys. The technique, what we are going to call it as a web scrapping, extracting the data from the, from the websites, actually, guys. There are some tools are there, actually, guys. Some, you can do it programmatically, as well as there are some tools are there actually, guys. There are so many IO tools. Generally, basically, we are going to call it as an IO tools actually, guys. Like if you want, you can check it out, guys. Import.io and it is going to be web house. I think webs, it has been became now webs.io actually. You can just check it out online actually, guys. We use this also these particular tools. So it is going to be import.io. But right now, um, right now import.io is not allowing you to create a free accounts. It is not allowing you to create a free accounts actually, guys. This is going to be import.io actually. It is going to be not allowing to create a free accounts. Previously, we used to use this one only. So it does not allow us to create a free accounts. Uh, now, if we try it, 
it is not allowing you to create this one import.io actually yes so it is going to be so it is going to be doing this actually if you want you can create it but right now it is not allowing to create in this one actually or even we are having something called as an web house now it has been became something called as an uh, it is web house actually now it has been became webs dot io it is going to be there you can create a free account you can create a free account actually guys there is a login is there and you can create a new account and we can do it actually i think 14 days or 30 days free time trial period will be there you can just work with that particular trial period actually so getting started so try for free which is going to be you can create an account so free account we can create it actually it's very easy actually guys just if we give the website url that is sufficient directly it can access the data actually so no credit cards are going to be required so there is going to be limited period we can access them or with the limited features we can work them actually guys just create an account and we can work with them actually so we didn't highlight it i didn't highlight this topic up to now so this requirement comes all these are going to be there guys so it's lot of techniques only guys it's not learning a programming so programming as you, as from so many years we are hearing about them guys absolutely the programming is going to be outdated the programming is going to be outdated techniques will be never outdated actually guys techniques will be there as it is we are learning some techniques basically here now so what are those particular techniques how do you do this what are the different ways are there yes we are going to be working a lot of knowledge actually guys so just for an example i'm talking about that i think most of you people does not knows an idea about this the social media sites like if you take facebook twitter linkedin etc they'll give you some kind of a developer accounts will be given actually guys they will be given a developer accounts normally you all of you know what is twitter.com if you all of you have an idea what is twitter.com it will connect to our twitter account this is my twitter account actually this is my twitter account where my tweets are going to be gets coming i can post the tweets i can extract the tweets i can do that actually this is my twitter account okay so this is going to be my twitter account actually guys but basically whenever we want to do some kind of an extraction like this we have to go for this particular developer platform actually so the developer platform will give you a lot of access to that particular twitter accounts we already done it actually so we'll see them actually guys so how many tweets we have been got pulled so it is month usage in this month i think we didn't done earlier month we have been done it so in this month we didn't done anything actually guys so we already done it actually like this not only this even the facebook also it is a facebook dot developer dot which is going to be facebook.com or meta.com i think now it was meta.com does not matter it's a developers dot facebook.com so this is going to gives you the access to your facebook applications actually so facebook provides a lot of applications actually guys okay so like this we are going to be gets working with them so there are so many products are going to be there so if you want to access this particular products so these are going to be some kind of an a basic tools are there actually guys can you see it is also working on lot of on a actually guys facebook google and all these are working with a lot of a related applications so many different products are also there actually guys it's providing a lot of artificial intelligence related tools are going to be gets providing actually so you should know about all these things actually guys simply learning the course just applying them it's not sufficient yes facebook is providing a framework what we are going to call it as pytorch it is going to be pytorch actually guys we are going to learn this pytorch as part of our course curriculum we are going to be learning actually okay so like this not only this even linkedin so i want to work with the linkedin accounts actually so we have something like an developer dot which is going to be something like an linkedin you know normally your linkedin site actually this is developer dot linkedin dot the application actually where we are going to be getting all your products basically so if you want to integrate your linkedin your into your applications so then we have to use them actually guys so this is my linkedin developer accounts actually so like this every social media will provide you such kind of an developer accounts even amazon also provides your developer accounts so this is you know that this is amazon.in you know this amazon.in where you can just search for the product this is developer.amazon.in actually guys it is going to be developer. it is a developer. it is going to be amazon.com or amazon.in whatever it may be it is developer.amazon.com this is my developer account actually 
So all these are going to gives you access to the developer accounts actually. Can you see Amazon developer account? So if we want to access all these things, we are going to be using them actually. So like this, we are going to be gets working with the different areas. So it is not just only, it is not just only just working with, it's not just only working with a program or it is not just working only with some other tools, not like this actually guys. We are going to learn a lot of techniques are there. Spend some time, explore them. Uh, some, uh, we have to explore a lot by yourself actually guys. 20, 25%, it should be something like a self-learning. You have to learn by yourself. I'll just guide you. You have to learn by yourself. So, and one more thing, to become a data scientist, very smartness is required actually, guys. A very smart way. So whenever, if anything comes, generally in our, uh, generally in our data science related projects, so not like your other programming languages, saying that this is your input, this is an output I require, so I want to do this particular applications. So we don't have any specific timelines. That means short timelines will not be there actually. So they'll give you a sufficient time actually, I guess, because everything is going to be working on the data. So we have to explore the data. How the data is coming, nobody knows about that. Unless and until you look into the data only, we'll understand the problems with them. We'll understand with the problems with them. So a lot of data are there. And uh, as I told you, you know, in Kaggle also, we are having a lot of competitions are going on. So we can participate in the competitions. So to get some skills, we can just compete. We can just compete with some other participants actually, guys. So we'll be also given the rankings actually. In Kaggle, we have it actually. So there are a lot of areas we have to work actually, guys. It's not like a straightforward learn Python and do this. So there are so many other extensions are there. We have to just work on all the particular things we have to work with them. Okay. So basically, um, just i don't want to uh, in the next class guys in the next class i'll start with the basics the introduction to python but just today i'm just going to tell you just an idea about i don't want to start with anything guys so we want to just start with initially with the python later as i told you we are also going to get some training on even on the r language also which is going to be r language so so many people raise this said doubt sir is it necessary to learn the r language as i already told you it's not a mandatory, but if you learn the R language, as I told you, you, know, you have to know everything actually, guys. Not only that, if you can explore, there is an another language is there, guys. These are basically popular for, these are mainly popular for the data science and machine learning actually, guys. The name of the language is Julia. The name of the language is going to be Julia. Apart from that, even Spark. So there are so many frameworks are there or so many languages are there which supports working with the machine learning. But most popular is guys, Python and R is going to be most popular. Even you can use a Spark. Spark is not a language guys. Spark is only just a framework only. It is just a framework only guys. But again, Spark works with a language like, again, it will works with a language like Python or it may be R or it may be SQL, it will works. Plus along with that, it's native language called as in Scala. So if you want to work with the Spark, if you want, you can learn Scala actually, guys. You can learn the Scala. But again, if you feel that, sir, I don't want to learn Scala. Scala is something different from other programming languages. It is completely different from other programming languages. The styles are different. Everything is different. So anyhow, we will be learning Python and Arno. So using that particular knowledge, we can apply the, we can develop the Spark framework. You can apply the, we can develop the Spark jobs. You can develop it. So it is not mandatory to learn Scala, but I'll just give you some basic introduction to Scala, some introduction guys, not in depth about them, but some introduction to Scala we are going to be working with them. Along with Python, R, as well as some SQL part also we are going to be working. It's not mandatory. It's not mandatory to learn SQL or too mandatory to have an idea about SQL. Anyhow, we are going to learn Python and R. We also look into Julia. We'll also look into Spark. And we'll also look into a tool called as an Vika. Vika is a tool actually, guys, not a language. It's a tool actually. It's an, uh, a tool. Without writing any code, we can apply all the machine learning applications. But why our main concentration is on Python actually, guys? Mainly, Python provides you a lot of support for deep learning application, guys. Our main concentration is on deep learning. Our main concentration is on deep learning. Actually, I can jump directly into the deep learning. But without knowing machine learning, we cannot study the deep learning actually, guys. You can study them, but at least some basic skills are going to be required actually. 
So that's why first we are going to learn the machine learning algorithms and then we'll move to the deep learning because deep learning is a subset of the machine learning only. It's a part of machine learning. So first we are going to see one part of the machine learning and the other part of machine learning is going to be nothing but deep learning actually guys. So first we'll start with the machine learning. First we'll start with the machine learning, but whatever the prerequisites that are required for machine learning actually guys, the basically some core Python is required. Some basic Python is required, which I'm going to teach you in the class. Along with that, as already told you, uh, as a complimentary, you will be getting some around 170 videos actually, guys. So we are going to get some around 170 videos of a complete Python classes actually. So I'm going to teach you Python for 15 days actually, guys. Whatever I require, whatever the machine learning requires, up to that extent, I'm going to discuss them. So if you want to learn a little bit more about the Python actually, guys. So we are going to be having 170 videos for the complete Python classes actually, complete Python. Complete Python by Mr. Durga sir. So Mr. Durga sir's videos will be given to you actually, guys. Yeah, it is going to be the complete Python videos are going to be given. So for that, there is a small process will be there. It is going to cost you around 4,000 rupees actually, guys. So if you just go to uh, the Durga, the DurgaOnline.com, there you can see this particular, the videos are going to be there actually, guys. There is a process is there. There is a process is there. These videos, you are going to get it actually, guys. Core and advanced Python of 170 video classes. So these videos are going to be get given to you. We can access them which is going to be around 140 classes, what we are going to be having, uh, sorry, 170 videos are there. So which is by Mr. Durga sir, you are going to get this access to you. Okay, so if you registered with your data science course, you can also just do all that particular applications actually, guys. So that is going to be one extra things what we are going to do that. So I'll tell you the procedure later actually, guys, how to get that particular access to that. Okay, so that is the basic ideas about how we are going to be gets working with them. Okay, fine. I'll tell you the process. So anyhow, we are going to be learning some Python for around 15 days, the basics of Python only. And after that, our main topics will start actually, guys. Main topics means the prerequisites of machine learning. Like we are going to be working with numerical Python modules like NumPy. So working with the data frames by using pandas and by using some other thing, which is going to be like data visualizations by using a matplotlib. So these are the some of the core areas we have to work with them, guys. This will take a little bit time. After that, you will start with the machine learning. After machine learning is completed, deep learning. After that, NLP. So mainly these are our main topics actually, guys. Machine learning, deep learning, AI, NLP. All these are going to be takes a lot of time actually, guys. More than two, two and a half months, they will take itself. More than almost all for related to three and two and a half months, we are going to spend the time on this particular machine learning, deep learning, NLP, AI. All these will take around two and a half, almost all three months, it will take it actually, guys. Remaining is going to be some around another one month. The remaining core areas are going to be gets coming actually. The remaining core areas actually. Like um, we work with something like a big data systems. So some introduction to big data systems actually, guys. Big data and the Spark. And some introduction to Power BI. Uh, some It's not complete training actually, guys. Some kind of an induction training is going to be required. We are going to give it. So which is going to be like an, the basics of how we are going to be gets working with that. Even we are going to be working with some Azure also. So how to work with the Azure accounts also we can work Azure or it may be AWS or a Google Cloud Platform, GCPs, whatever it may be. And even a little bit introduction to something like we didn't highlight this in the course. You will be also getting some little bit training even on, which is going to be some kind of a Linux systems also, guys. Because mostly in real applications, guys, these are all open sources. Python, R, all these are open source languages actually. Open sources languages prefer to use open source in open source uh, operating systems actually. So mostly in real applications, guys, you will be working to work with the Linux environments. So a little bit, a little bit idea, guys. We don't teach them. We are going to use it actually. I'm going to use it in the Linux environments actually, guys. So how can I get a Linux environment? There are multiple options are there. There are multiple options are there. I'll tell you. Without doing any installation, also we can get a Linux environment. By using Azure, we can get a Linux environment, guys. You need not to do anything. Directly, you can go to the uh, Azure and you can create a virtual machine with the Linux, actually. No need to do any installation. Ready to use, 
one uh, we'll be getting ubuntu uh, we are going to get an ubuntu uh, operating system will come automatically otherwise you can install virtual machines in your machine if you are interested you can install in your machine and you can work with them actually yes. okay so that is the basic ideas about how we are going to be gets working with this particular applications like this okay so there are a lot of things are there guys there's a lot of things are going to be there to discuss them so anyhow coming to the python actually guys so if you want anyhow i'll tell you the introduction in the next class so if you are interested to work you can install the python software actually guys there are multiple ways are there to install python but mostly the initially we are going to be doing is guys just if you want anyhow i'll start with the next class guys i'm not going to start anything in the today's class so it is going to be simply sorry it is simply www. it is python.org actually guys it is not in commercial it is python.org actually so python. which is going to be org which is an open source community from there you can download it actually so just download it so right now it not required so just anyhow we are going to be working with the next classes so this is going to be www.python.org actually guys yes we'll see them guys what is google collab that is a secondary level that is a next level this is your python core community it's a basically who developed the python who has been contributed so that is going to be the community which is going to be which has been the core python community actually guys it's a global python community welcomes and encourages participants of everyone our community is based on mutual respect tolerance and encouragement so there are a lot of contribution is going to be there actually guys there is a lot of contribution was there actually it was not developed by a single community there is a lot of contributions are there across the world so downloads just you can download the latest version of the windows it is 3.3.10 or 3.10.2 you can just download it's a very small software actually it's a very small software hardly some around 25 27 mb will be there 27 mb actually guys 26 point this one it's a base system that means it won't take that much load on your system actually guys it won't take that much load on the system if you want you can work with linux you can work with the mac or any other operating systems also we can work with them so just for today if it is possible download it not a problem it will still takes one or two days one day actually guys we don't spend more than that it's not like your other programming languages in other programming languages starting with the introduction to start with your first program it will take some around at least one week of time because they will show you the environment writing a program saving the program compiling the program executing the program all these are not available you don't write any file we don't compile the program we don't do anything directly if you write the statement it will execute it actually almost all in the first day only we'll start with the introduction to python almost all we are going to start with the practical application actually guys so i don't want to start directly from the basics like from starting from the beginning like what do you mean to say programming language okay because we are here not to become say programmers actually guys what is a programming language what is hardware what is software okay when you start with your uh, uh, c language they'll start with somewhere here now hardware and which is going to be software what is high level programming what is a low level programming what is compilation what is a library so they'll start from there actually guys but we don't want to start from there because we are unnecessary we they don't require for us what is python what is r what is a programming language we don't require them actually we don't require them only thing if you want i can start from the scratch actually but it takes a lot of time in 15 days exactly it is going to be 2 weeks we have to complete the core python actually that is our target actually and they are not required actually guys internally how the python will compile internally how the python we are not python developers here no we are just taking some help of python to implement our machine learning concepts so our main topics are in the machine learning internally what is a python compiler what are the python libraries they are not required for us internally how the memory management takes place which not matter it's not a matter for us our requirement is the techniques what we are going to do like for example how the web scraping is done how to do it in python how to do it in r that is a way how we are going to be doing this actually or by using a tool you can do it by using language or we can do it by using a tool actually guys okay so anyhow just if it is possible install it guys otherwise not required because in the next class anyhow i am going to start with the practicals of python 
anyhow i don't install it because in my system already python was already installed not only this guys this is going to be just a base system but in our real application this is not sufficient so for that we use as an another product we are going to use as actually guys later i'll tell you about that that is a commercial product actually that is the anaconda.com actually guys it's an anaconda distribution later i'll talk about them later we are going to be working with this one actually guys this is our main product which we are going to use this actually guys because it is completely dedicated if you can observe carefully guys completely dedicated for the data science technology so a movement that brings together millions of data science practitioners data driven enterprises and the open source communities completely dedicated for data science machine learning data analytics completely related to that one only guys that is the reason we are going to be using this it's a data science platform for all there are so many products are there these are all commercial products actually these are all commercial products actually guys so we don't use them we are having an open source is there we use as that open source actually that is nothing but what we call it as an individual edition don't install it guys don't install it i'll tell you when to we, when we have to install it actually this is a little bit larger size our base python is only just 27 mb actually guys this is going to be almost all 500 and 500 mb is there actually see the difference it also brings you python it also brings you the lot of tools it will comes actually guys we can say that anconda is a platform basically where we can work with all the data science related so we have to work with a lot of environments guys mainly we are going to using this yes as usually somebody is asking about google collab yes there are so many are there which i'm going to discuss in the later classes actually guys okay so that is the basic ideas about them guys so that's it so this is going to be our end of our the introductory classes actually guys so today i'm not going to just take more time because if with my i don't want to because i just want to start with the python in the tomorrow's class so i'll just one class is guys like some history about python some features of python how to install the python it won't it may not take even complete one day also it may not take even complete one day also because as i told you know we don't want to start starting from what is programming language what is hardware what is software what are the histories of programming languages we don't want to do all these things straight forward learning python straight forward learning python if anyone is there who are not aware about any programming language they may face a little bit difficulty in initial days is actually guys one or two days after that you don't have any confusion because python is very easy to learn anybody can learn this particular application guys just it is i am asking to install them guys if it is possible install it otherwise not a problem we can start with practicals nothing is there we are going to start with the practicals immediately we don't write as big big programs no we are not going to write a lengthy programs we are not going to write it even tomorrow also you can install it does not matters if you want you can if you install it you can be also along with me also you can practice them that means when i open this you can immediately check it out yes is a python was installed what version it is showing in my system just at least you will get some idea behind it so if it is possible install it otherwise you install it tomorrow not a problem at all okay guys so we'll end up the session for today guys because it is only just an introductory so tomorrow's class from tomorrow onwards your regular classes and actual classes will start actually we'll start regularly from monday onwards tomorrow it is just an introductory to python actually guys just a small introductory to python tomorrow also i may not take completely one and a half hour class one hour one hour 15 minutes hardly i'll take it just i'll show you some basics of python and then from monday onwards we'll start with our main classes from monday onwards we will be having the class from morning uh, i think so okay i'll let you know this actually okay there is a demos are there actually at 8 o'clock so i'll let you know maybe i just don't worry about them just beginning classes only no guys just one hour one hour one hour 15 minutes will take it and once the main classes will start you will be having the class up to 8:30 will be having the class actually guys okay yes uh, hitik saras yes it is uh, free i think you already got the access to that hitik saras drugas our videos are free for students who already paid the fees and registered actually, yes yeah actually i'm yeah. trying to learn from that but mm -hmm. it's again asking me to add the card mm -hmm. and not able to access okay. that so i'm asking this question I, i'll check it out i'll check it out once because 
uh, I was also not sure about that access actually. So I also, um, they, I said that I asked them to give the access to me also so that I can explain to the students. So just okay, give me a couple sure. of days. I'll just, I'll, no I, I'll verify, I'll verify it once. Okay. okay thank okay, you. Okay, fine. Thank you. Yeah, guys. So that's it for today's guys. And uh, we'll start with our, uh, we'll uh, continue with our uh, tomorrow's class. Tomorrow also, just like introductory class, because this week only we have started the classes. From Monday's class, we'll start with the regular practical classes, guys. If anybody is having any questions, guys, you can just discuss with me. We have a time is there. If you have any doubts or if you have any questions, you can just type it or you can unmute yourself and you can speak them, guys. Anyone, guys, any questions? If you have any questions. Yeah, Gunraj, I think already yesterday uh, did my backend team did not get back to you. Raju? Yes, sir. Uh, they called you? No, sir. They didn't call you. They did, did you get a mail? Yes, I got the mail, sir. Okay, they didn't call you anything back. Okay. Okay. I'll just I will I will inform them to make a call to you. Have you given your number? No, actually, you registered with your mobile number also. No. Okay, sir. Yeah, I'll 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 share you. Okay. Otherwise, you can. Uh, uh, yes, Venkatesh, uh, Durga sir, class videos are free. Uh, you will be getting the access to that particular videos. I think you already got a mail, so I think just I'll show you the mail actually, guys. So you will be getting some mail will be there. You, I think you will get a mail like this, guys. So, which is going to be something like this, just a minute once. Yeah, like this actually, guys. A follow-up mail will come like this. So, actually, guys, uh, your videos are also is accessible for one year. Initially, they said that it is six months, but uh, they got the given in the mail also, I have seen it. It is going to be one year access after completion of your course. I have to just confirm them. At least you are going to get one year, you are going to get the access actually, guys. Okay. And um, you are going to be getting this particular one. So you can see this, guys. As a complimentary, we are providing Durga Sar 170 videos for free, actually. You will get this particular at a free of cost, actually. Okay. And anyone, guys, so if you want, just I'll share you the my point of con the point of contact of in Durga Sar, in the Durga Soft. So if you have any issues or if you have any questions, you can just discuss with them actually, guys. Okay. So I'll just uh, I'll just text you that particular numbers. So please wait for a couple of minutes, actually, guys. I'll just share you that particular details. So the, con the contact person is uh, uh, Bhavani. So you can just contact her, actually. So Bhavani and the number is going to be the contact numbers are going to be. So I'm just giving the numbers, actually, guys. If you have any questions, you can just feel free to contact them, actually. It is 5252627. Five two, two, yeah. One number and one more is there. Yeah, guys. Just a minute once. Triple eight five two five two six two seven, and it is double eight nine double seven. It is double one seven double nine. Yes. So this is a point of contact, actually, guys. So you can just save all these numbers. You can just save all these particular numbers, and what you can do is you can uh, um, you can contact her for any further questions or any further details. Yes, Raju. So you can just make a call to this number and contact Bhavani. And just inform them that you want to talk to me personally. They will con they will connect to me the call. Okay. 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 Sir. Fine. Fine. Fine, guys. Uh, hope um, uh, email ID. I don't know. <laughs> email ID. I don't know. I'll share you that it is the next. Sir, place. tomorrow same link will be or yeah, same link. link. Tomorrow will be the same link. Tomorrow After will be the today's same. payment, right? Uh, today. Uh, actually, uh, depends on your when you have joined the class. Generally, they'll give three to four classes. Okay. Maybe by maximum tomorrow also, there may be a demo. By Monday's okay. class, we have to complete all your uh, payments and all these things. By the next Monday's class, we have to complete them actually. Okay, okay. today I will do that payment. Also. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah, it is going to be on Monday onwards. Class timing will be eight up to 8.30 a.m. guys. Sudipta, Sudipta, I think it is 7 a.m. to 8.30 a.m. Okay, that is a regular class timing. Okay, so initially we'll end up by 8 a.m. because it's the initial classes, no? So yesterday we have taken up to 8.30 yesterday. So it depends on the discussion. So till the regular classes will start, the main topics will start. Maybe it depends on the topic because in beginnings only, no. So we don't want to spend more time on that and don't give more stuff on a single day. So initially, maybe up to 8 a.m. we'll be taking that class. 
But after that, up to 8.30 p.m. At up to 8.30 a.m. we'll be having the class. It is 7 a.m. to which is up to 8.30 a.m. is a regular class timing actually. Okay. Fine, guys. So, uh, sir. yeah. Uh, sir, uh, for, from the Monday, whatever the classes will be happen, uh, is there any separate link will be provided for that? They will or, share uh, you. Th they'll share you. Everything will be updated from my backend team. If there is okay. any change in the link, they will update you. Okay. Everything will be communicated. Okay. And even you will be having this uh, because these are the demo classes only, you know? So the link will yeah. change us one after because it has to be done with the payments. So they will yeah. give the payment. So all these because process will be there. No. So once the main classes will start, we'll be getting a permanent link. Only one or two weeks only the link will change us. Okay. Sir. Okay. Yeah, yes. We'll work on. One, yeah. One. Yeah. Mahesh, you will be also working on the finance data sets also. So which type of fine? Yes, we have a finance data sets actually. So if you are interested, actually as part of our domain, we are having some data, one project based on the financial data sets are there. So we are going to be working on the projects. So my question was... Is somebody, I think you can unmute yourself. I just, uh, uh, I just muted you. Somebody speaking. Yeah, yeah. So yeah. my question was, you uh, told us that we will be a part of... Uh, a telegram group and yes, yes. Uh, you can uh, do data sharing and all yes, so yes i wanted to know sir because you told us that every day the class would be for about 90 minutes and we will have to put in an extra 60 or 120 minutes a day yes, so that yes. we get the hang of it yes you're so okay. my question was normally if we go offline mm. and we have a separate lab like two hours or three hours practice mm. but then mm. we are in the group who okay. are new learners mm. so how does that work when we are in an online setup sir so <laughs> in online setup because the it is due to the pandemic problem and one more thing is uh, globally see previously you have to come to hyderabad and we have to spend nowadays what happening here is so over this particular two years uh, whatever that due to the pandemic what happened here is now even students are also getting interested only to join through the online courses only because the traveling time the expenditures so if you consider all of them, this is going to be better. And we have a people around the India, not only around India, now even some people are there even from Canada or something like a US or UK also we have it actually. So there is nothing. It is going to be something like, see, even in the lab also, it is your optional. If you want to come to the lab, you can come because you are professionals here. It's not like a college. So where we force you to come to the lab and ask you to do some assignments, submit the assignments. We don't get any rankings and we don't get any marks based on that. So as part mm -hmm. of your interest, you are interested to get a job. So it is up to you. So if you want to get a job early or if you want to get a better job, so do a practice actually. So it is like a self-practicing. That's why we are going to create a group actually where the people mm -hmm. can share this, but they, they share their particular uh, doubts and clarifies all these things. They can be shared across that particular group. So you are practicing something. You got an issue actually. So immediately mm -hmm. you can post it in the Telegram group. Okay, okay, sir. Okay, so like that, you will be sharing them as well as it's not only knowledge, knowledge sharing as well as your doubts clarification, whatever you want to do that. All right, all right, got okay. it, sir. Fine. Thank you. It's like in our WhatsApp group only. We are going to just maintain a group. You post your whatever the screenshots, well, this is a problem. So what is a, what is the solution for that? So there are going to be sharing those details actually. So we have a group. So I'll just show you my Telegram, uh, my Telegram group. I'll show you once just how they will share. Currently, on evening 8 p.m., one batch is going on. So uh, we are maintaining one 8 p.m. batch is currently. So there is a group is going to be there. So like this, they will be sharing all the details and uh, whatever the communication we want to do. So these are the things what we are going to be doing this. Initially, we started recently, you know, so we don't have that many issues. Just whatever the issues are there or, or any communication we want to do, we'll be getting like this. So they'll share that particular links and all these things. So that anybody, maybe I don't answer them. Maybe some other participant is going to answer them actually. I need not to do that actually, right? That is the case. Fine, guys. So that's it for today, guys. So we'll see you tomorrow, all of you tomorrow, guys, at the same time at 8 a.m. And we are going to um, start with a little bit basics of Python introductory classes. And then from Monday onwards, maximum first week, we don't have a class on Saturday. From Monday onwards, we are going to start with the regular classes. And by Monday, you have to complete all that, uh, the payment and all these things. If you do that, you will be getting a new link and all these things. But I was not bothered about that. That has to be talked to, that has to be discussed with uh, Bhavani. 
So I shared you the number. You can just talk to her regarding any payment issues and all these things. You can discuss them and whatever you want related to that, you can discuss with them. Okay. So that's it for today, guys. So just for today, we'll stand up the session for today and we'll meet up in the tomorrow's class. Thank you all of you. One, one, one last question, sir. Yes, yes, absolutely. Yeah. So are, are you going to install this uh, Hadoop and, uh, and uh, Spark and all these kind of platforms no. to work on the large data no. sets? No, actually, see, the basically installation on your system and what will large data sets mean, you don't, our systems are not capable to handle that much large volumes of data. Okay, so for that, what we are going to be using for Spark, what we are going to be using here is we are going to be using uh, what we can say this. There is going to be an online which is going to be a free, a free which is going to be a free cloud account is going to be gets created actually. Mm -hmm. So we are going to be working with this, but this will comes with a limited resources only. It will comes with them. Okay. So the basic idea here is we we will show you how to work with the data sets. But large data sets means unless and until you don't go to the real times, because how much maximum data will get. So it may be 100 MB, 200 MB or 500 MB, 1 GB data. But when mm -hmm. you go to real time, it will be terabytes of the data, yeah. so which we cannot handle in our systems practically. Yeah. So we'll see the procedure. We'll see how to handle them. But actually, practically, we are going to be doing that. Actually, when you go to real time, then we'll get the access about the larger data sets. But we are going to work with the Spark with the help of a Databricks.com. Okay. Okay. So we'll create a free account here. One community account will be there. You can create it, and we can work with that. Or even we can launch this Databricks even from Azure. Also, we can launch them actually. In from Azure, we'll get one month free. Will be coming, but we'll get a complete access. We'll get it. A professional account will come. Here, I'm going to use only community account only with a limited resources. Okay. Okay. Fine, guys. Yeah. So that's it for today, guys. Just for today, stop it here and we'll continue in the tomorrow's class. Thank you all of you guys.